as the elves. What do you mean, ask who he is? We spoke to him like five times already. The elven tree must fall. The elven tree must fall. He fears it. He fears the elves. Consume his source, mother. Do this. Do not do this. Three more altars left, fingers. And I'm kinda killing everything there is. For now. Too bad it's two handed. Gotta get encumbered again. The heart of a Shadow Prince. You can consume the heart of the Shadow Prince. I think Sebil should be able to do that. A lot of good items too. What happened? There was a chest here. I blow up the chest, yeah. And no items from the chest. Oh, there was divine stuff inside. A bloody chest was here. Once you destroy the chest, the loot doesn't appear. I did the best I could here. Too bad you can't finish all the quests you need to pick. But I'll play it again after I finish it. I'll play with different builds and then I'm gonna go with Lone Wolf on Tactician. this <laughs> you mean in well it's dark fucking kidding me intricate ring With one character, with one, I won't play with two. With one. What's this? I found something. Imagine that. More bullshit.
Really? Really now? Temple of Zorlstissa. The air is thick with heavy flakes of ash. The altar before you seems to radiate heat as you approach. Neil. There is a blinding flash, and you are surrounded by flame. It licks your skin, but does not burn. It dances in your hair, but does not singe. You it's Lone Wolf, peace. but Lone Wolf with two characters. Penalties are 50% from Lone Wolf talent, instead of receiving 100% from those boosts when you equip a talent lone wolf you get 50% out of it on two characters basically it's bullshit you either play lone wolf or you go with full party looking up you see Zor Stissa staring down at you from a throne of embers above her is the emblem of a sun once a flame but now dim and fading she nods to you go my prince do what must be done the vision fades, and once again you find yourself at the altar. Faint embers of ash scorching the fabric of your clothes. That's the easiest altar. Definitely the easiest one so far. Let's explore a bit more. And then I'm going back to Salsa. Too much to carry, we got a lot of stuff. Now let's see what it is. A lizard leg. I need to save and check what to do with this shit. You are a priest of the kin, your face raised to the sun, your blood warming to the heat upon your skin. All is well, and then all is not well. Cries of war come from the shore, and death comes quick. And... And... Where's his heart? The heart of the Shadow Prince, consume it. You are the Shadow Prince, master of the House of Shadows. A born rascal, you have spent many a long year honing your abilities. You have a rare skill with a knife in your hand, and you have taken that skill to heart. 100% I already got the skill. So what? So what? What? Bullshit, that's what.
so Zoro not even type that shit. Zoro Stissa. this. Imperial the Star Wars. What's this? Reading of the wonders of Zol Stissa, it's clear where her people get their feelings of supremacy from. Cave entrance. Check it out, see what it is. Small cave. With what? This is not quite the safest place I've ever been. We better find a way inside before it all goes up in smoke, and us with it. Murdered God Woken. The spirit before you drips source from his raggedly slit throat. Realizing that you can see him, he throws a wry smile in your direction. Ah, God Woken. You know how you relive bad exams in your nightmares? Good news, you get to relive them in death too. Wait for them to fix some bugs, then play it again, because I guess. He rolls his neck, sores gurgling and spouting from the deep gash. He laughs, and his laugh is a bitter one. As I was facing the trials, I was killed by another Godwoken hopeful. He's long gone now, but I'm still here. I just can't stop thinking about it. That one answer, the one I couldn't get in time, Anon Fallon Reveal, Anon Fallon Reveal, what in the void comes next? Hmm. You remember Tarkin muttering this very phrase, Tarkin is also a god woken, what? His face lights up. Gratitude shining forth from it. That's it! That's it! 
he begins to fade from view. But as he disintegrates, he traces an esoteric sigil in the air between you and pushes forceful energy into you, restoring you. And... We got nothing out of it, I guess... Well, I guess you can get source out of that. But this is stupid. It's fucking stupid. Get out. What else do we got? I'm now. All of this. All of that. All of this. And the rest is done. There is a blood cave with a troll that's left. And those black rings. And this portal here. That's all fine. How do we get this? There is a spell in Eroturge to collect stuff. I don't know, maybe it will work, maybe not. What's here? Taste it on the wind. The death. One is red, that one is blue. Need to activate all the pillars for something to happen if you can find all the pillars, of course. It's everywhere. Might I prevail upon you to answer a question? Far away. You see, I am on a mission most grave. I seek a sorcerer most foul, most reviled, most feared. Her name is... Why do you think that Divinity Original Sin 2 is better than Divinity Original Sin 1? Divinity Original Sin 1 was also Game of the Year. And Divinity Original Sin 2 will also be a game of the year. They're equally good. Yes, Rocky, you. His pincers scissor wildly. Scepter the Ineffable! Have you heard tell of this wicked beast on your travels? I remember such a crab, mother in Fort Joy. Oh, oh no. You spoke to her. Face to whatever you call the odd. 
odd frontly part of your person. I regret to inform you, you haven't much longer to live then. I'm good, Ferdan. How are you? You should have finished Divinity Original Sin 1. Now that she has your scent, it won't be long until Scepter tracks you here and guts you like a minnow. You have my sympathy. The hunt continues. Him Fuck was that? Eh, whatever. No, I wasn't here there, was I? This the Temple of Amadia. Can we go there? The Temple of Amadia. Can we jump there? Can we TP there. How the fuck do we go there? Temple of Amadia. From here. Thanks, Ferdon. Thanks. Can we jump? Very fun and... Where are you two? Alright, whatever. We'll use teleporter pyramids. The fuck who told you to jump there? Fine, whatever. Of it, hellfire must have rained down on them. It's surprising any of them made it ashore looking at that. <laughs> really? Let's activate this. Just too far. Strange. Let's climb up. All the way up. Wind. 
the clouds. In the clouds. What holds this aloft? Up in the clouds. Journal updated. Yeah, we're in the fucking clouds. That would be something for Amadia. What's this? Before you stands a shrine to Amadia, her solemn face carved of ancient stone. Examine. This statue of Amadia seems ancient. Moss blooms from cracks all over the stone, and tears of rain stream from her eyes. A hollow space marks the center of her creased brow. Pray to Amadia. You remember that the statue of Amadia in the hollow marshes healed you. But no words from you can rouse this one to response. Whatever powers the gods once had has weakened indeed. Place your hand. You feel a presence awaken within the stone. An ancient awareness reaches out to you, swirling through every cell of your body and every moat of your soul. You feel your blood bubble and seethe, as if it is flowing faster through your whole Easter. body. Your mind quickens and you realize that your thoughts and actions are faster than ever before. Then the awareness recedes from... Like what? Permanently hasted? Can we haste them all? Before you start, you feel a, a light breeze dances at your heels. You feel yourself becoming lighter and lighter until you are borne aloft and floating up. Then the awareness recedes from... Floating? Before you stand, you feel a presence away. A wintry wind blows. Water immunity. Hail, then the Before you stand, you feel a pr fire suddenly raging. Fire immunity. The aware mm -hmm. Adias Fireboard. Save first. This is permanent. Not bad. Way only. Mister here. Altar. That's where I need to go. Which means the circle around. Can't TP from here, can I? Which rest is here?
shit. The spirit of a Black Ring initiate stands before you. He seems to be smoldering. Spectral ash and smoke drift away from him. He sighs at his incinerated mortal remains. Try to take the temple by yourself. The spirit puffs himself up. What dangers lie ahead. If the spirit still had a complexion, he would no doubt turn pale at this point. seem different now. Did that cause a reaction? All of that for a portal. Let's see. Where are we now? Romance Sibyl. Miasma. Engraved jewel. A bit to open the door to Amadia. Sure. What's this? Amadia truly is the mother of all magic, the patron of all who use swords. To get to that altar.
Our defenses are breached. Must I kill you now? It would pain me. It would pain me to steal from you. But I will. Sheep shears. Get the fuck out. <laughs> no, that will probably pain you too. You are not of the Black Ring. I am relieved. I greet you. I am, I was, Amadia's chosen champion. She gasps and bows her head in deference. Forgive me, please. I hold this boon. It is Amadia's. It should be yours. Amadia's boon. How long have you been here? I came to the council to learn to be divine. I failed. I'm not made to be pursued by evil. And that's what it means to be Godwoken. Afterwards, I roamed the island, as did all we fallen knights. <laughs> I was talking about it like an hour ago. The itemization is a bit broken. And they should fix it. But my worst fears came true when the Black Ring came. I fled here. I made sure the temple was defended and went to the altar. I prayed to Amadia for help, but she did not answer. I'm not ashamed to say that I hid. There is untold evil in the world, and it has reached the island. It seeks the Godwoken who would be divine. I cannot bear it. Amadia's altar is at the highest point. Climb to the sky and you may find it. But be warned, Amadia rarely answers now. And when she does, she sounds... She bows her head in... And what about... The reward? It would pain me to kill you. You are not... I am... She gasps. Forgive me, please. I hold this boon. It is a... A pair of gloves, beaten and worn, but I clearly of the highest value, especially to a wizard. I came to the... But my worst... She did not answer. Go? There is no go. I belong here. I was Godwoke. Amadi's... She bows her... Up in the clouds. So need to trigger those quests twice. Those robes down. Pray to her altar. And off we go. The next thing is inventory. Because it's a mess. Everywhere though. I think I was. That's all there is. Pray. A bird flicks. A sense of warmth and peace fills. As you whisper your words, you feel the world around you melt away. You open your eyes to an old log house, a roaring fire, and a door ajar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course I can. We're gonna do all the items very soon. Pushing the door open, Be you patient. find a bedroom, comfortably furnished. In the middle of a bed, wrapped in blankets, is an old, shivering woman. She reaches out, welcoming her lost child. So good of you to come. She has been so proud to watch your heroics, but now you need to help her. She leans forward, grey hair falling to frame her wrinkled face, and whispers that she is so, so hungry. She needs to feed. She needs your sauce. Take the source, whatever. The woman takes you in her arms, pulling you close in a warm, soft embrace. You almost can't help relaxing as her warmth spreads through you. You're still breathing in her scent, the smell of home. When you feel her claws, they press into your back, tearing cloth, breaking skin, pushing deep into muscle. A gasp escapes your lips, and you sense it, her ferocious hunger as she starts to feed. You feel your source draining away, your energy sapping, your own hunger becoming unbearable. <laughs> the sky mom portion of the game. You push her away, staggering backwards, until you rest gasping against the door. The figure in the bed draws the curtains and smiles as she is bathed in moonlight. 
She turns back to you, her grey hair now streaked with gold. She gets out of the bed, walking towards you, but you feel your god pulling you back, pulling you away from her claws. The room fades, but Amadi's moon remains, now emblazoned on the altar before you. Moon. It would pain me to kill you, but I shall take that as a... Attitude towards red trains minus 100 because I pressed take your leave. I got minus 100 for take your leave. And we spoke to her. Like two times already, and she acts like she doesn't know us. Before they need you stand to fix the shit. To Amadia, her solemn face carved of ancient stone. After I'm done with these clouds going on Lady Vengeance, and then we're gonna check all the items and clear the inventory, and we'll check the clubs too. This statue of Amadia, with the grating sound of stone upon stone, the statue of Amadia moves to one side, revealing. Open this. Overlooking on a nameless isle, you can see the nameless isle. <laughs> look at this. Although it doesn't look like nameless isle, it could be the Rivalon. I'm not sure exactly. Uh, it looks more like nameless isle than Rivalon. Right. Now it's here. Ed Koshal. Ed Bullshit. With Warfare Pyro Aero with Finesse. Motherfucker. Rutaini. Can touch anything else here? That's about it. So. That's the way down. Uh, Amadia's altar, yeah. Amadia altar. Only this area is left, and then we can kill Black Rings, and then we can kill Bishop, and then. There is blood or altar left. Now, what was the cave? God damn it. Blood altar. It demands blood. I tried with blood, but nothing happened. We're gonna go to Lady Vengeance. And check items. I need to clear them out. So, you ask me about gloves. This one. Let me transfer them here so you can see them better. Look at the gloves, I'm going to toilet. Be right back in a minute.